Yo, Yankees fans and Major League Baseball fans. Yet again, it is Felix from NYU's.com. Like always, I'll welcome Stas. Let's talk about a recent report. It just broke right now that the Dodgers are back in the mix for Bryce Harper. Dave Roberts was reportedly spotted in Las Vegas during the weekend. This was tweeted out by Jesse Sanchez of MLB.com. Now, this kind of makes sense because the divisional rival, the Padres, recently signed Manny Machado for that 10-year contract. And we all saw the Dodgers trade away Camp and Puig to the Reds, which made absolutely no sense. Yes, they signed Pollock, but you got to scratch your head and say, hey, this team went to back-to-back -back World Series, and really, they didn't really make a splash. So the question now becomes, Nick Conforto, God rest his soul, great writer for the Boston Globe. He's the one that said the Yankees were going to trade for Stanton and then trade him to the Dodgers the following season. Obviously, that hasn't happened, or maybe it's not going to happen, but if the Dodgers sign Harper, you got to ask yourself, wow, the Yankees really had the opportunity to trade Stanton to the Dodgers. And it also says that the Yankees passed up on Harper for Stanton. Harper being a left-handed bat, we all see his intensity, his passion for the game. People might argue that Stanton is better than Harper, but there's a lot of people, a lot of Yankees fans that would have loved Harper on the Yankees. And really, Harper made the most sense from, let's say, looking at a Stanton, looking at a Machado. He was the perfect fit for the New York Yankees, obviously being a left-handed bat. So if this reporting is true that the Dodgers are making a run for Harper like a last-minute run, even if they don't get him, they were willing to spend the money. Meanwhile, the Yankees sat out. So if the Dodgers are throwing their hat into the ring, where they're in a similar situation like the Yankees, you know, all those years spending big, then wanting to go down the tax, why can't the Yankees do the same? Or why didn't the Yankees do the same? Like I said, if Harper lands on the Dodgers, one, there was a real chance that the Yankees could have flipped Stanton to the Dodgers. And two, the Dodgers were willing to take that extra step that the Yankees didn't want to take. Not adding another superstar, not adding another contract. And again, folks, I am no Stanton hater. Stanton is great. But in my honest opinion, I would prefer a player like Harper over Stanton just because he's a left-handed bat. And now that the cat is out of the bag, we all know that the Yankees didn't want to approach Harper or Machado because of that Stanton trade. They didn't want to add another big contract to this team. So that's where I'm coming from. I'm just saying the Yankees blew it if Harper went to the Dodgers because the Yankees could have easily got Harper if they didn't make that trade last year. And then again, we're seeing that the Dodgers are possibly going to drop a large amount of money on Harper. Which then again, brings me back to Nick Conforto and what he wrote about last season. I'm not saying Harper is going to the Dodgers. He might end up a Philly. But like I said, this is breaking news and the Dodgers are back in the mix for Harper. So, Yankees fans, I ask you this question. If you had a choice... Would you prefer Harper or Stanton? And again, I'm not trying to diss Stanton. But if Harper goes to the Dodgers, this question is going to be brought up. So Yankees fans, do you prefer Harper or Stanton? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you on next time. Before it hits the